All right. Take two, YouTube. What's up? Chris here, and welcome to the very first tutorial video that I think I've ever made on this channel. I made one a long time ago when I was in like middle school um, for some Minecraft thing, and it was absolutely horrible. So let's hope that this tutorial video is much better than that one. I did record this like 20 minutes ago, and my video capture wasn't on, so I was just looking at a black screen. So hopefully this goes better than that, too. Anyway, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some custom animations in RPG Maker MV or MZ. And yeah, so let's just get right into that. I'm gonna show you guys a few custom ones that I've made. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys them in the preview form and then I'm gonna show you guys them in battle form and then I'm gonna create a basic one and then a custom one and show you guys how to do that real quickly. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first I've made a basic slash move. Bada bing, bada boom. As you hit him, he turns red. As you can see, pretty basic. Let's go to the water one. So, a little less basic. We hit him, it's, he turns blue, and then he turns red. So that kind of signifies the hit of the water element, and the signify, it also signifies him getting hit, you know, blood red. So, bada bing, bada boom. And then I'll show you the stone one. And then I think the thunder one. That one's cool. I like that one. Um, then we have water quake. This one turns in blue because of the water element. And then also it kind of flashes red because the animation hits him more multiple times. So I wanted to kind of make that clear when, you know, you're watching it go down. And then for overcharged. So those are those. Now I'm going to show you guys what those look like in a battle. And then I'm also going to show you guys how to make them. All right. So here we are in my game that I'm working on. It currently doesn't have a name, but we're going to go to the online, create a new lobby. We're going to create a new game character. And we're going to pick our class because the only one that I have available right now is the night class. And my phone keeps buzzing, but we're going to ignore that. So we're gonna click here. And this is just a little test room that I've created. There's the online chat room. There's us, everything's working good. If you check here, we have my test weapon. So I highly recommend when you're making animations, when you're doing any type of stuff that like requires a little, little customization or whatever, I would very, very, very highly recommend that you make some sort of test weapon or test armor or test item that you can just slap the animation or whatever you're testing onto that item so that you don't mess up anything else like if you want to put a certain animation on a really cool weapon that you made like two weeks ago and you put it on there and then you fuck something up and then you mess up the weapon and you didn't have a backup and now you can't now now you just now you're in a bad position and you don't want that so make a test weapon give it to your guy and then you know, test. So here we are in the battle. Click attack. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. Pretty cool, pretty cool. We'll hit him again. I don't know what move that guy keeps using. And, uh, but it's kind of annoying. So we'll hit him again. And he's finally dead. And there we go. I'm only going to show you that one because it's going to go. It's, just, it's going to take me a little bit of time to go back and switch every single animation onto my test weapon. But that's pretty much you, you get the you get the point. So I'll show you guys how to make them. Um, if you want to make a custom um, custom animation that isn't one of the default animations from RPG Maker MZ or MV. Well, actually, this one, this tutorial specifically is for MZ. I should I should say that because I know that they're kind of a little bit different. But for the most part, things are the same, I presume. I am not 100% sure on that, so don't take my word on that one. But anyway, in here, you'll have the name of your animation. You'll have the display type, which is pretty much how it shows, like, where it hits directly on the screen. 
and the particle effect. So like I was just saying, if you want to get a custom particle effect, anything that is not default, what you would do is you're going to go to, you're going to first get your animation, whether you bought it, made it, or did whatever with it. You're going to go to the folder. You're going to go into the audio. And if you have any custom sounds that you want to put into the game in general or just for animations you'll go to the audio file and you'll put them in here make sure it's a dot ogg file and then for the actual effects you'll go to the effects folder and you'll need to make sure that your custom effect is in the efkefc file i don't know what that stands for but make sure it's in that and then drag it in to here and then you should be good to go so once you have you know your custom animations in there your custom sounds in there now, now we can go make a wonderful, epically epic custom animation, custom epic thing. And then display type, like I said, it displays where directly it hits on the map. So this could be for each target, center of all targets or the center of the screen. We're gonna do center of all targets. And it's, um, we're gonna align at the bottom and we're gonna pick our custom animation. So I'm just gonna go with we're gonna go with this elemental one because I have to make this one anyway. So I guess we're gonna go change the name to um, elemental, elemental slash, elemental slash. Yeah, I mean, I'll probably have to change that name to something way cooler later, but we're here, particle effect, we got it down. Scale, basically, so first let's play it. We can see it in action, looks pretty cool. So scale basically just increases the size of the animation. As you can see, the more we increase it, the bigger the animation gets. There isn't really a limit, but it will mess up the way that everything looks if you go too insanely insano with it. So we're gonna bump that down to 100 again. And we're gonna put this, you get, this is where you adjust the speed. So here is a slower version of it, which Looks pretty cool, actually. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, well, but just for the sake of this, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna just keep it at 100, just so this can go a little bit faster. So the X and Y and Z axis um, for the this is for rotation. So the way you want to rotate it, you know, you can customize it however you want. And if you ever mess anything up, like let's say let's say we put this at uh, 143, we put the Z at 25, and then we put the X at 64. And we click play now, and now it's right there. Completely different direction than it was before. And but let's say we don't like that. We don't like that at all. We're gonna reset it all the way to zero and you're good. So don't worry about that. So the offset X and Y is going to basically move it left to right or up and down. So the X is gonna move it left and right. So let's put that to 49 and it goes to the the right. So if you go, if you're going, if you want to move to the right, you're going to go to the offset X and you're going to increase it upwards to a positive number and it'll move to the right. But if we go to the negative, it'll go to the left. And for the offset Y, that's just up and down. So let's go one negative 135 will go up and then positive 100 or whatever number it is will go down. So we're going to put those back at zero. Just like I said before, if you mess up, just go to zero and you'll be good. So now we need the sound. So like I said, if you have custom sounds, use those. Uh, I think it's this one. Don't you? That was cool. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. So let's move that up a little bit. Oh. Boom. All right, very cool. And so now, now we got that taken care of. Oh, the frame, I should probably explain the frames. So the frames are basically when the sound of the animation starts. So uh, as you can see, right when I press play, it'll start because it's on frame one. But if we put the, if we make it start at frame 40, the sound won't play until the 40th frame. So there's a cool little delay on that one, but we don't want it like that. So we're just gonna put it back at one and 
there that covers that i almost forgot about that moving on to the color effects if you want a cool um like blood red effect for when they get hit i normally go with i put red at 255 i put these all the way down and i go anywhere from 187 to 238 is about where i would go i normally put it on 221 and now it'll just do this So, now he gets hit with a red animation while he's getting hit. But if you want to do that little flashy animation, what I normally do is I'll copy and paste it. And then I'll just kind of edit the frame just, you know, slightly each time to see what happens. We need to yeah, put this at 40 maybe. There we go. That was kind of good. Um, maybe 45. And then we'll put this one maybe at like 75. Oh, and for the final one, we definitely, we definitely need a final one. I think maybe like at the hundredth, maybe. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Maybe like 115? 115 might be good. Twenty. Right, I mean, you guys get the point. You get what I'm trying to do here. Play with it, and you could you can make some really cool stuff. So this is our custom animation one, and it's basically the same thing. If you want to use one of the default animations that come with MV, bada bing, bada boom, you can. We'll do a claw effect. It won't be nearly as as epic. But there you go, you know, bada bing, bada boom animation. And yeah, that, that pretty much covers it. So hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial video. Um, I'm probably going to be doing more of these, presuming that they went better than my past tutorial videos. But yeah, see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to leave a like and peace out and good luck on your game development.